Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Janelle if you are new and if you're returning, thank you for tuning in today. I'm gonna use this as my microphone. Today we are doing the Tomato Summer Girl makeup look. Today I'm gonna be doing this very glowy tomato girl makeup. Now I know we all cringe and we hate all of that, but these were some inspo pictures. I love it. I'm gonna be doing the hair also in this video. So I really hope you guys are gonna like this video. And without further ado, let's get right into it. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My hair is looking crazy because we have to start with our hair like this for the updo. I'm gonna show you guys. Let's start with this, the base face milk by Ilia to hydrate my skin. I'm going to be using just a few families of makeup. It's not going to be a bunch of different different brands. I'm going to kind of keep it within all the same family because that's just how we're feeling. You ever see a makeup look and you're just like, I know what beauty brand this is their look. That's exactly how I feel about this look and these brands like Ilia Beauty, Benefit, Kosas. Those are kind of going to be the main products that I use for this look, but we'll sprinkle in some other ones too. So it's not, you know, so. I started with some hydration. Okay, Benefit Professional. I haven't used this in a minute, but I was just like, you know what? Let's use it today. I was just listening to the Maggie Linderman album and I was in such like a bright summer mood and now I'm like, you guys know Maggie Linderman? She's like alternative rock amazingness and her new album is Ilya just dropped these new foundation concealer sticks. They're called the Skin Rewind Complexion Stick. I have the shade 4N, 6N, and 32N. We're gonna use one to bronze my skin. Because I do have a little bit of self tanner on. I know you can't really tell in this lighting, but I, I do. I'm gonna take the 4N, which is this lighter shade, and I'm just gonna go right where my under eye is, and that's pretty much it because I'm gonna use it a little bit like a pre-concealer. This is 6N. I'm gonna go just where I need some coverage, like around my nose, I always get red. I'm gonna do some of my nose here. Here, and cover that zit up. Still get some breakouts here and there. It is a little light for me. I honestly went, wish I went a shade darker. This is the bronzing stick. I just got this, I haven't used this. So I'm just gonna, and I guess I'll just like contour later, but let's see how this blends out. A shade shot underneath my lip. Look, you guys, this is crazy. I've been taking this MAC brush. I've just been like patting into my skin. It just like melts into my skin, like so nicely. And then underneath my nose. I love foundation sticks. I feel like they're so quick and easy. And for me, I feel like I have more control over the amount of product I'm putting on. I don't know why sometimes with liquid, I just feel like I overdo it. And then I'm like, shit. Little contour moment. I'm gonna just take this and just blend this out. I'm gonna start and put it right on my cheeks and then like down here and just like dragging it like that. Good base. I'm gonna use Hourglass because I really want a good concealed moment. So I'm gonna take the Hourglass concealer and I'm just gonna use a little bit. I honestly don't need too, too, too much. Just a little bit where I really wanna look bright eyed. But what's nice about this look is it's not super perfect like a perfectly bright under eye. I'm gonna make it more that way since I am going out this evening and I just, you know, but I'm still gonna keep it very fresh. I normally coat like a whole triangle. This I just kept on the inner corner of my eye and right on the outer corner of my eye just to now, you know, give that like look. Like I guess more like a wake look if you're sleepy. This concealer is just also so beautiful on the skin. I really, really, really love this concealer. So obviously I've been seeing the tomato strawberry girl makeup all over. Strawberry girl was last year, now I guess it's tomato girl. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, okay, sugar plum fairy princess cupcake sugar booger tomato strawberry pudding frosting donut glazed donut pie, okay? Yes, I can see how it's annoying, but I kind of think it's cute. Even though I have a dark side to me and I like dark, grungy, winged liner, a nude lip, and my black hair, I really also love that playful, like I'm a little garden fairy, tomato strawberry freckle girl with a glazed donut that looks juicy. <laughs> 
Does that sound crazy? I just used the House Labs. This is the Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder in the shade Neutral Peach. I just took it really tightly around my eye and like on my eyelid. By the way, this Ilia foundation looks and we'll even it out. My Kosas Nano. What I love about this is I literally can draw the tiniest, thinnest lines and it looks like real hair. It's so good. When I think of tomato girl, like a little tomato strawberry girl, summer girl, I really think of those really bushy brows. The brows that I immediately think of is Denise Richards and that one swamp weird movie i guess that she was like underage in sad story on her end however she was so gorgeous and her brows were so fluffy and perfect and i feel like whenever i think of a little gardeny strawberry tomato girly that is what i think about and i love that this brow gel cali c it's a clear gel and i'm just going to brush my brows up. I've been using this hair growth stuff on my brows to see if I could get them to grow thicker. I'm gonna get back to you guys on that because apparently it's like pretty a pretty intense like hair loss thing that people put in their actual hair that girls grow their brows to make them fluffy with. So I'm currently in the midst of trying that. My tretinoin journey is going pretty good ever since you guys like really kind of told me what was up. Thanks to you guys. I really have just been watching that and making sure I'm doing my tretinoin right and I'm not just frying off my skin because that's important. You can ruin your skin barrier faster than you realize. I didn't even realize how fast you can ruin your skin. By the way, this is the little self tanning drops I use on my face. I got it on Revolve. I'll have it down below, but I really love this. It's organic daily sunless tanning serum it's in a glass bottle i love glass packaging it makes me feel like the product is gonna last longer or is a higher quality because who's gonna put crappy quality stuff in glass i could be way wrong though i was really going back with doing any sort of freckles for this yeah i i don't have any freckles but i feel like all of the tomato girls have some freckles there's a picture of giselle she looks so gorgeous tomato strawberry girl this next girl strawberry girl these photos also i'm like every other human on the planet that is extremely mesmerized by marilyn monroe i love her look i love everything about her even though she was a tragedy i try not to idolize her too much because people you look up to and things like that, your life can become like theirs. It's a weird theory, we don't need to get into that. But I saw these photos of her and I felt like she looked strawberry-y. I felt like she looked, she always kind of looks like this, but it looked a little more glowy and dewy to me. I don't know why. Also, Nara Smith, queen of making things from scratch. And I feel like she embodies like a strawberry tomato girl a garden girl i don't know do we get that or am i way off <laughs> so maybe i'll just highlight my moles and add a couple freckles on my nose i don't know that might like be silly so i have my three moles should i add should i make this sit a mole no sometimes i feel like when girls make their zits moles it looks so good when i make my zits moles it just looks like the mole the zit is brown not cute maybe i'll put like a little freckle here by the way, I'm using this Tower 28. This is in Draw Me. And basically, I'm gonna just go over my lip too. And then just rub it, rub it out. So it gives like a shadow. What if we, let me just see before we do the blush. It's kind of cute. Just on my nose. We'll leave it. If not, I can always, let's do this Benefit Flora Tint. Let me tell you something about Benefit while I apply this. Benefit literally raised me. Benefit was the very first makeup counter that I looked at and was like, I want all of this. When I was 14, no, maybe like 13, I was so in awe by the retro, beautiful, light turquoise, and pinks and just like the color palette of Benefit. They also had in Ulta a brow 
station. And I remember I didn't go to them for brows, but I wanted every single Benefit product. I thought it was just so pretty, so classy. Always loved a retro vibe. I grew up in a house that was built in the 1840s. So my parents were so into antique stuff and redoing it. And I live in a vintage apartment now. I'm very much so into that aesthetic. So Benefit to me is just, it's still surreal when I'm either gifted a product by them or just something to do with them. I, I get so fangirly and I almost like can't believe it because Benefit has been with me as one of the first beauty brands ever. It made me feel beautiful and made me excited for the cosmetic industry because the cosmetic industry was big, Clinique was huge. It was very much so a thing. My mom was into it. Lip liner was my mom's thing. In the 2000s, like it was definitely a thing, but yeah, I, I get so nostalgic. Still to this day, when I have my makeup bag in front of me, it's so nostalgic because I still have Benefit products literally at least for 30% of my face. It's just such a cool thing. And I, I'm not getting paid to say this. I don't have a sponsorship or brand deal coming up with them. I just get really giddy. Right now over that Flora tint, I'm applying the absolute most perfect tomato girl blush that I've ever seen. This is actually what inspired me to do this. This is the Ilia Dear Ruby. How freaking cute. I just took this Fenty brush and I'm just gonna go over these spots. And I like to drag it into my eye and then drag it up on my head. It's literally giving I'm gonna go garden. This is the prettiest color ever. I'm now gonna take this over those little freckles you can't even really see because I did them so, so lightly, just like that. We're gonna leave it there because I will tone it down in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and just do my eyes. This is the Benefit Hula Light. I'm gonna go in my eyes with this. Just gonna take a really fluffy brush and just go over the lid. This is not super pigmented on me. If anything, this is more like my shade right now. But if you do have a lighter skin tone and are very, very, very pale, this is just such a beautiful color to kind of throw over your skin. And yeah, I think it just gave me a little something in my eye. On my 2024 goals list, I added start an indoor herb garden. I cannot garden outside. I don't have my own place to do that because I do live in an apartment in LA, but I really want to start an herb garden. And I think that's also why I feel like I'm in my tomato girl era. Sounds so cringy. I know. I'm gonna take the Ilia bronzer. Ilia benefit girl, you're coming to put this look. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna lightly, I'm gonna go right at the edge of my brow. It just is gonna give me that sculpted yet sun-kissed girl look and I'm gonna go on the brow bone. That's all I'm gonna do for the eyes for now. Let's set this in stone. I am gonna take some Lash Food Lash Collagen Primer, whatever this is, and I'm gonna go over my lashes just to coat them. This Ilia foundation is honestly unreal. My skin still looks like skin, but very dewy, but not dewy where I look like wet and sticky. I get that wet sticky look and I don't like it. Again, one of the most iconic first, most stunning, breathtaking, amazing mascaras that I've ever used. The Benefit Their Real Mascara, it just, it's just that girl. This is just that girl. I, I can't really describe it, but what I'm gonna do is instead of going straight up, I'm going to start at the ends of my lashes and I'm gonna brush up and down. So I'm just putting that color more on the corners of my eyes. Now this is gonna look a little bit more dramatic than some of the photos that I put, just because I am gonna be going out tonight, but I'm just gonna put a light coat on the inside lashes and then really, really doubling up on the outside. I don't know if you could tell, but it gives that very like look. And you don't even have to wear mascara at all for this. Okay, I zoomed you guys in a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. But basically taking just a, what's this? Lashes brush, I don't know. I'm gonna just brush through them and brush them up and out. And then I'm gonna take one more coat of the mascara and I'm gonna just like coat those end, those end guys. It's just like really fun and flirty. <laughs> With this, taking the multi-liner pencil brush stick, I'm going to just right on the outside, draw a little bit 
and then take my finger and brush it up. Same thing with this side. I'm gonna take, this is the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Cake Easy Bake Powder. Quite the name, these names, guys. And I'm just going to, I'm just gonna take this right where I kind of show some pores. I forgot how blurring this is. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna go right at the tip of my nose, not anywhere else. I'm gonna put some right here, the bridge some over here but because i'm keeping the essence of the pink you do not have to do this i'm gonna take tickle by benefit i know i know i'm a benefit girl i really am you guys and i'm just gonna go over that liquid and then what we can do is i can take the flora tint and i can mix it that i should have done that do you see that discovery i just made taking this highlighter and mixing the flora tint in with the highlighter so it's a highlighted pinky blush highlight that's what we're talking about. Last thing, Physician's Formula. You see this white up here? Don't say I didn't put you on. Just kidding, you have to see it first. Do we like it? I like it. Oh, I didn't even finish my lips. Let's put the Flora Tint on the center of my lips. It's out there getting arrested. Cops are helicoptering around the press. Charlotte Tilbury, Iconic Nude. Let's do the hair. Disclaimer, I did not invent this hairstyle. I have now seen so many creators do it. I don't know whose idea this originally was. If you know, comment down below so we all know. This by no means is a hairstyle that is going to be perfectly done by me. However, what I am going to try and execute. You ever just see the girls like online do a video and they're like this 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 and it's like the most gorgeous hairstyle you've ever seen you're like did she just do magic because like what was did i miss something like you feel actually crazy and then you go back and you like try to slow the video down you're like what happened here me too so i'm gonna try to show you guys exactly how i would execute this and how you can attempt to execute it for yourself you can curl your hair and then pin it up anything that gives you volume if you naturally have volume you don't need to worry about this i naturally don't have volume so i need to create it so i'm gonna take this is the living proof full dry volume blast and i'm gonna just go in my hair and volume blast this bitch and then because i washed my hair on wednesday it's friday not too long ago oh wait was it i think it was wednesday i'm gonna just use some dry shampoo this is the perfect hair day dry shampoo i'm actually going to a, an event of theirs tonight that paris hilton is hosting queen just really um yeah i also love their products so cheers to that i'm just gonna brush this out get a nice fluffy voluminous like curl voluminous curl we're gonna just take the front chunks of my hair so you're gonna want about this much of your hair forward you can leave the other hair back do the same for this side so now the rest of the hair you're going to this is gonna look crazy for a hot sec but you're gonna just put it in a high ponytail as high as you can get it honestly so here's my pony i'm gonna just secure it with a ponytail holder like and then i'm just gonna like bring it forward and tighten it now you're done just kidding so with this pony you're gonna go and you're gonna kind of bring it forward like this okay and then with all the hair you're just gonna kind of like scrunch it Let's see if i can get this scrunch it up into your other hand so like just take the rest of the hair hanging out and just like Okay, so then I'm gonna secure this bun with another ponytail, but this is just what I'm gonna go with bun wise, but you're gonna see what I'm gonna do. We're gonna take one part of the section of hair and we're gonna pull it, wrap it around to the back of the head and we're going to bobby pin it. So it's like hanging in the back, bobby pinning it. This is so hard to do without a mirror. So now I'm gonna take part two and also brush it back and secure it here's another side pinning lots of pins doubling down on the pinning as well 
You kind of just have to trust the process with this one because you feel like it looks like crap. And it'll actually turn out pretty cute even if you're not that good at hair. It'll be decent. Like decent where it looks like, oh, you have a messy, nice, cute little bun. You know what I mean? Just my opinion though. Some of you guys could see this and be like, wow, you look stupid. So now your updo kind of looks like this, like mullet-y. Just like hair dangling in the back. This is where we're gonna take a curling iron and we're just gonna curl a few pieces. I plugged in my T3 wand. I've had this baby forever. If you're looking for a good curling iron, honestly, they all kind of last a long time, but this one, this one's a baddie. It's got a thicker top part, so you can have a thicker curl or you can have a tinier, tighter curl. So I'm just gonna take this and you know, do what we do best, like that. Don't burn your freaking face. The front pieces look cute. Let's do the back. This is gonna be the mighty, the mighty part. I'm just gonna start taking random pieces. Sorry, there is a, literally a crime scene going on outside. It's the middle of the afternoon. Just chaos is going on. This is what happens when you live in LA. Can everyone just calm down and eat your protein? Start your own little gardens and relax? Like, why are we causing trouble out here? People are just looking for trouble. Just curling. Hopefully you guys like maybe know how to curl hair. <laughs> Clearly you can see that I am also not the best at curling my hair. Like I'm just like curling junk. Like I'm bits and bobs. Bobs and bits. Okay, I feel like I just did backflips with you guys. I'm gonna put on my cute outfit and we're gonna Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. I really hope you guys liked it. I did my hair like this because I just feel like when I think of Tomato Girl, it's like she's got like a bunch of little pieces of her hair hanging out. I feel like this look just looks super young and fresh. And since you guys made it to the end, I'm doing a tiny mini giveaway. I have so many duplicates of their makeup and I was like, you know what? My friends get them when I have like, I literally have like five of these. Love you benefit. Thank you. I'm stocked up. I got one in my travel bag. I've got one in my makeup bag. I've got one in another travel carry-on bag. I've got some extras and I want to gift some of you girlies my first makeup love benefit just some goodies nothing crazy it's just a few things all i want you to do is comment down below your first makeup brand that you played with or got inspired by and if you don't wear makeup maybe skincare or if you haven't experimented with makeup let me know down below where you'd like to start and what you'd like to try but i'd really like to hear from you guys and what beauty brand was your first love or the first one that was like, wow. I remember my mom used Clinique a lot when I was a young girl, but my like first personal one of them obviously was like L'Oreal and drugstore brands, but this was like the first one where I was like, oh. I'll put all the giveaway rules down below. You have to be subscribed to my channel, obviously. Well, not obviously, but you have to be subscribed, come on. And leave a comment. And then what I'll do is I will comment on your comment to DM me and then I can get your address and then I'll send these out ASAP. I'll probably run this for two weeks since you guys are seeing this video. I'm gonna do one other big giveaway too coming up, but this is just a cute little one for those of you who watched to the very, very end. I love you guys so much and I hope you guys like this makeup look and I will see you guys in the next video.